Our waterways connect us to the world by carrying ships and barges loaded down with the products and goods that keep us and our economy going. Petrochemical plants and refineries take advantage of these channels to move the materials they use and produce. When a vessel arrives at the plant for loading or offloading, the first point of contact is likely to be a dock operator. As the facility's person in charge, the dock operator is responsible for monitoring and managing everything that happens out on the dock. To be a person in charge at the dock, you own the dock. On a 12-hour shift, you're not getting paid to do labor. You're getting paid to be a responsible person in charge. We make sure that the equipment, the product, security, and the people are safe. We are the eyes and ears for the customer. Hours before the ship even rolls into the dock, the dock operator is in constant contact with the pilot, facility staff, and other agencies to get ready for the vessel's arrival. Once the ship or barge's arrival time has been confirmed, the dock operator starts the prep work to get it safely secured to the dock. This process is known as vessel mooring. It can take 45 minutes to two hours to moor a ship or barge, and at some sites, plant personnel or other contractors could also be involved in the process. Once the vessel is safely docked, the dock operator goes through a detailed checklist before giving the vessel and its crew a go-ahead. We have foreign crews from all over the world that are coming in and out. We must make sure whenever they're coming in that they're checking in with us and whenever they're leaving out that they need to sign out. Safety hands down is, is number one overall. Everybody has to be accounted for. After the vessel has been cleared, but before any loading or offloading begins, the dock operator must first conduct a pre-transfer conference. A pre-transfer conference is important, so we're relaying what are orders that are given from the plant to us, to the boat. So if the orders, they don't match between the vessels and the customers, we take a time out to get supervision and the customer involved to straighten everything out. A transfer can take eight hours or more, depending on the size of the vessel. And during that time, the dock operator is keeping a close watch on everything. So once the transfer has begun, I'm checking rates, I'm checking pressure, checking connection on the vessel, I'm logging paperwork, updating computers, and just staying on top of everything associated with that transfer and dock. Dock operators play an important role in protecting the environment, and they take great pride in making sure that during each transfer, not a single drop of product hits the water. Pretty much what a dock operator's job is, is to keep it in the pipe. Some dock operators are assigned to one site and they work rotating shifts, days, nights, and weekends. Others work on call, traveling to and from various sites to service docks with unpredictable vessel traffic. Dock operators have to work at heights well above the water level while handling all types of chemical products and specialty equipment. So they have to be safety focused, procedure driven, and alert at all times. Sometimes things just start to get a little bit faster paced, slow down, and, and keep safety as number one. And you have to just go through the procedures and the guidelines. A lot of things can happen. So you have to be on your toes and be aware of what's going on. And while changing weather and water conditions can definitely make the job challenging, our dock operators agree that there's nothing like working out on the water. Being out here is very peaceful. The scenery is beautiful. If you like water, if you like nature, this is a place to be. A lot of the wildlife, we get to also see uh, gators, fish jumping, eagles flying. We've even seen occasional beaver here and there. Where else can you go and have a waterfront death? At Petroleum Service Corporation, we load and unload more product than any other company. Our success is due in large part to the commitment our dock operators have for getting the job done right safely and efficiently with zero spills to the water. Our mission is simply to be the best what we do. So, are you ready to give it your best?